Hello, William. Hello, Patrick. How are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm a little freaked out because they're we're, we're it's not we're going no microphone, but we haven't got the big mics in front of our face. Are you used to the big? I'm used to a big two hander in front of my face. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about yourself? How are you? I'm grand. Good. Struggling on. Yeah. Struggling, you say? How's the gout treating you? A wee bit sore. Mm -hmm. I did go and see a specialist. So Just that yeah, I treated myself till a specialist. So he just basically took 300 quid off me to say, you need to do this, uh -huh. which is what my doctor told me to do. Right. But he wrote a letter to the doctor to fucking basically tell him off that he should be spent more. Because you know when you ring the doctor and you're like, can I get an appointment? And they're like, how does March the 14th sound? And yeah. you're like, it's fucking September, you mad cunt. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If I know, I, I, get, I get seen straight away, I have a special case. Oh, and you're spastic. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So you have like a, it, it's They're like, like a, if he dies on our watch, we're fucked. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh fuck, he has cerebral palsy, I'm going to be nice to him. Yeah. Can you give me a wee bit of cerebral palsy just to sort of can speed up the doctor process? No? I can kick you hard enough in the head, you get brain damage and maybe you get cerebral <laughs> palsy, but that's about Is that's that where it comes from? Cerebral brain palsy? damage from birth. Is that right? Mm-hmm. That's why my executive functions are also fucked up. Right, okay. Well, yeah. you're not the only executive in Northern Ireland that's fucked up, are you? Hey, you can tell he's been on the blame again, can't you? <laughs> boom, boom. Who's the blame for? Being a spastic. Jeffrey Donaldson. Fuck. I love doing Tim McGarry's voice. I could do this all day. Tim McGarry just sounds like a... a, a he's like a cross between Connor Burns and William Thompson. <laughs> If you just have a child, it would be Tim McGarry. I couldn't imagine that because he's generally two feet taller than both of us. <laughs> I couldn't imagine me and Connor Burns have, having a kid that's more than three feet tall. The fact that you're both male probably should stop the fact that you would have a child together. Who know, 2021, bro. Fuck Everybody's it. in there. How dare you be so... I don't know, you're probably being some kind of a... No, it is. See if this battle wants to have a child, it'll do it's it. It's allowed to. Yes. <laughs> do you remember um, that, like, ten years ago? A ma it was a, ma a woman who became a man, but she became pregnant. No. And it was a pregnant man. Do you not remember this? No. It was... Do you remember this? It was all over the news. No, I don't. They <laughs> really don't. I swear to God, the only, the only one I can really remember where a man had a baby was Arnold Schwarzenegger. Do you remember in fucking some film? Twins? No, it wasn't Twins. Was it not Twins? I haven't seen many other Schwarzenegger movies, I was just saying what I know. It wasn't Terminator, I know that. <laughs> jingle all the way. It wasn't Jingle all the way. He genuinely had a, a baby. Kindergarten <laughs> Cop? Uh? Was it a comedy or was it a, a serious drama? It was Honest Schwarzenegger having a baby, what do you think? I, I, I'm hoping it's not a drama. Uh, fuck, it was sky -fi. It was like... <laughs> <laughs> sky <-fi? laughs> Well, first things first, we had our first ever live podcast this week. And it was shit, wasn't it? It was terrible, never, never doing it again. Never, I'm actually, this is the again. last ever month. Blood. No joking. On fucking real. Very fucking fun. Yeah, really no, everybody fun. seemed to have a good time. Apart from... Oh, we're going to talk, yeah, we'll have, we'll to, have, to, we'll have to address fucking it. We'll have to address it. Everybody's giving up. Where the fuck's a drink? Where's the bar? Where's the bar, folks? Where's drink? I hey, I've, I've, paid, I've paid 15 quid to get here and I'm going to leave before it starts. Comedy shows do not have alcohol served during the main act. Yeah, you have That's, them during the support. Now we didn't ask for it to be closed during the interval. That wasn't what we asked for, but they did ask that we want to close during us doing the mud plug yeah, because we, we thought it would be a better experience for the fans. Yeah, if there wasn't some kind of can I get two magnus and a fucking yeah. one of them fucking big fucking strawberry daiquiri things and then the fucking blender on? Yeah, because we've been at gigs recently yeah. where that shit's oh, been going on. Fuck, do you remember that? Where they're making like a full on cocktail fucking two seconds away from yeah. the fucking stage. So you'd be yeah. on stage the next minute and go <laughs> And we were like, what in the name of good fuck? I don't think people realise you like the sound is important. Like we will play about with like we will do things that will make the crowd go silent before you then do the joke that makes don't them laugh. It's all them. important. Don't be telling Don't be telling them, them the trades tricks don't, of the trade. It's not tricks of the trade, just they're fucking spastics. <laughs> You don't need to know that shit. Paddy's gone Hollywood. Fuck them spastics. They're just you dumb down calmly. That's just fucking <laughs> it. But do you know what I mean? So like when so that happens. your experience, yes. Yeah. That that that's why we've done it, and yeah. it backfired just in the sense that people then wanted a fucking drink. Yeah. And it was forty-five minutes without a drink. I think this could have fucking. 
hacked it. Like the the people who I love the people who left before the show started because there was they couldn't get a drink. I found that very funny. I actually don't believe them. Oh no, they did. I saw them. Like well, I, there was one guy sent me and he was like, "I fucking left. This was an absolute disgrace. The fucking only comedy show I've been at. He couldn't get a drink, and I was about to reply." And then he deleted the message. And then he sent another message to say, sorry about the earlier message, was a bit fucking, a uh, bit abrupt and, and was maybe out of order. I know you were probably planning that show and whatever, and it's unfair to come back, but I was just disappointed. Went to reply to that, and he deleted that message. So <laughs> I never got to tell you. Go and fuck. <laughs> go and fuck. I don't want your money. And if you don't want to go, don't go. I'll take your money, like. But William will take your money. Take your money. Go to William's show. He'll <laughs> fucking let us all drink there. Well, no, fun. that that's what happened. Yeah, um, yeah, but it's it's a common thing, and in, in particularly in really big shows, like you go to the Odyssey, they close the bar, bar one, bar in that entire fucking arena, because the like you don't really want everyone up and fucking moving and shouting while yeah. the main act is on, and that's a common thing in comedy. Yeah, it isn't always done, <laughs> but it's it is very common. Like, yeah. Um, but the show itself was fucking amazing. The crowd were very fucking good. Yeah, you all seemed to enjoy it. And yeah. I think we could do it again. And we will be doing it again. 100%. We're doing it in Newry. We're doing it in Derry. We're, no, not Derry. Not Derry. No, Derry. We're calling Oma. Through. Oma. We're doing Newry, Oma and Port Thrush. Yeah. Port Thrush. Yes. Uh, did I tell you what happened to me after the show? Though? Did you get fingered? I, yeah, but that's not what I'm about to tell you. I was walking back out from show, going to meet people for drinks, and some guys came over and went, yo, mate, you were shite tonight. And I was like, <laughs> what? He's like, yeah, you were shite. And then his missus came, and he was fucking, you could taste the drink off him. And then his missus came over and went, he wasn't even at the show. And then he proceeded for the next half hour to, like, say I'm sitting with my mates, like, back. And he's sitting, standing there, over the top of me, just talking at me for, like, half an hour. And I, at one point, he was like, oh, I'm embarrassing myself. I went, yeah, you're a fucking cunt. Yeah, fuck and off. And most people would take that as like, oh, I'll leave. Not this fucking dude. Nah. No, he was, he was in it for a long well, time. Well, had to trick him to get away. Like, he wouldn't fuck off. You're too nice. There, but here's the thing, because you're, you're, at a, you're at a place where people have just seen you. What do you want to do? Fucking smack someone? You know what I mean? Mount the camera phones and stuff? He's there. Paddy, we'll fucking smack someone. If, he's, if he won't take a hint and fuck off. Yeah, yeah. You, you will. You will. I'm too cautious these days of like it being fucking. Although I'll that, be on Belfast Live that, fucking next morning. That being said, that being said, I was then leaving the show and couldn't get a taxi. Decided <laughs> that start walking home. Was on the Lisburn Road and was like, this wasn't thought out at all because I have a fair distance to walk up a fucking mountain and all. Yeah. Um, on his wee gout leg. On my wee gouty legs. Welcome did, to my I fucking world. Well, here I got right to the top of Tate's Avenue. You got the Rand's bar and a bunch of fellas came out of the bar. One of the tallest ones, big fucking guy, curly fucking her, DM boots. He, he fucking jumped at me like that. But then realised he knew me and went, Paddy, I was about to fucking smack him. But then, thank fuck I didn't because the rest of his mates came out. It was about 15 of them. And they were all in orange flute band out for a night out. And then they carried me down the Lisburn Road again. Like, <laughs> up, up, like a coffin. For a fucking plot, some and, arm strength. And I was on the phone to Andrea going, can you hear this? Like, I'm getting marched. And she was laughing. And I was like, no, seriously, like, I'm ringing to say, uh, tell the kids I love them. Because <laughs> I'm getting carried to Sandy Road here. Gotta put you in a big bonfire, uh, wicker I'm man. I'm getting carried to Sandy Road. Like it's only one way it's going to end, isn't it? It's going to be like they're going to bring me into one of the bars and go, "Look who we got." <laughs> it's the fact they've just picked you up and fucking carried me like a coffin down the fucking road, and I, I was wiggling and I couldn't, I couldn't get out of it. So it was like, <laughs> and then when we got to Damro's to put me down, and one of my shoe, the one come in for a wee sniff here, we'll go up in this wee park and have a wee sniff, and I was like, "No, I'm all right." <laughs> one of them ones it was like no seriously they poured the bag of coke down my nose yeah. um, but, so they let me go in and I had to down their bag up again so then Andrew was sitting waiting for me like where were you and I was like I told you I was getting carried down the fucking Lisburn road you can see why Andrea doesn't believe you sometimes because that's a mental fucking thing and it's, only because I hang about with you that much, you know, it does it, just it, happen to you. It, but it happened just, and they were like, oh, you were doing your show on it, no, fuck, no, I get on that. And then they were like, tell Emma's about, tell Emma's about the time done for the UDM, and I was like, I don't want to hear about the UDI, I fucking hate them bastards, so do I? I hate them bastards. 
Og så står den i det, jeg ikke Ja, så er det like, well, okay, så der er det jo i okay, well. <laughs> was he actually, like, I thought he was, like, when he went for you, I thought when you first told me that, he was, like, joking about. Was he genuinely going for you and then realised who you no, were? No, I think he genuinely was trying to... He just seemed like one of them big concerts was just, like, messing about. So he was, like, you know... Aye. They were fucking about. And what happened was they were in Rand's bar and they were fucking the Dairy Girls about. Who the cast of the Dairy Girls was in the bar, right. and they were told to leave apparently. So obviously he was messing about. He was in his funny half hour. He seen a fella walking up the road and then clicked on. He knew me, and it turned out I'd worked with him before. So right. So far enough, eh? Far so enough. I don't think he was genuinely going out say just to punch somebody, but I think he was going out to mess somebody about. Aye. And then it just so happened to be me. Uh, did you have any other gigs up in... Uh, talk about the Blame Game, I haven't talked about that. I haven't seen you. Oh, I mean, I talk about that now. Well, have we, uh... Done the Blame Game, so did... We did that type of guy. Pile um, of doll. Yeah, no, it was great. It was a great experience doing it and stuff like that. And yeah. It, it did funny that, like, people took pictures and stuff of it. And she, there was a guy in the shankle. The she used it and put a red hand of Ulster on my hand. And he has it up in his man cave. It's fucking brilliant. Like. See, in that wee photo where you're, you do just look so much like Hasbro when you're just uh, waving the, the camera. Hand. I fucking love it. Um, but no, it was a great experience and everybody seemed to like it. So, How do you... How, is it much different than what goes on TV? Completely. Really? A lot longer. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. How long is it, the show? You could picture yourself. Um, you could picture yourself just being there, like in the. Uh, uh, you alright, Sorry, No, no, we we'll be, uh, we'll be finished by then. All right. Oh, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> terrified. Terrified. Just my one of my staff. You know. <laughs> You better be out of here fucking half the year. I'll have a meeting, please. <laughs> Get out the fuck. <laughs> um, so it's a lot longer? It's a lot longer. It was recording for like two and a half hours. and Fuck me. Two and a half hours? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Is there yeah. a warm-up guy? Me? You were doing warm-up I don't know. I like doing warm-up when you do it. Mm-hmm. I've done it before and I like doing the warm-up because what... Maybe... Maybe this time, maybe I did, I don't know. But the last time, nobody really knew who you were. So I went, if I do warm up, then it gives the audience the chance of already seeing you doing something. Yeah. And if you made them laugh there, it'll be easier when you're up instead of them and not being used to laughing. Because the last time I done it was Jake was on it, Neil, Callum, and, and Tim. And I just felt they know them. Yeah. And they would laugh at them quicker than a stranger. Uh-huh. So that's why. Oh, well, you'd done it before, hadn't you? Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Just wasn't on TV. Yeah, it was the radio one. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still clamoring to do it. So if they're if they're watching, do you know what I mean? They need a wee, wee box ticker on, we quota fella. Who you? Yeah, I spoke to him about you, didn't I? Did you? Mm-hmm. Don't you fucking dare let that wee bastard on this show. <laughs> Definitely not. I feel I'd enjoy it. I think you'd do well. I think I would. I always um, write my wee political jokes down. No, I think you would do well. I, I honestly do. Like, cause <laughs> That's not even I just dressed as Tim McGarry, but didn't reference it, just spoke like a well, how, how could you dress like Tim? It, it was funny because genuinely they had to give me a cushion for my seat. Because it was so small? Because it was so small. <laughs> and you're taller than me. And I'm taller than Neil Delamere, but yet I needed a cushion. So it didn't really, was it the same? Are you taller than Neil Delamere? Yeah. Is he tiny? Yeah. He looks awful tall on he's, the TV. He's as tiny as you. Fuck! Off. Yeah. I find it weird when people are my height. I like being the small one. See, when there's other short people, I get like are you really like, fancy. Are you like, uh, are you like, uh, what do you call your man, Napoleon? Yeah. Small man syndrome? Yeah. I When there's other short men, I'm because I don't trust them. I always feel short dudes are up to something. So you like, are one. I know, because I'm always up to something, so I'm like, I know what you're, you're well, up what to. What are you always up to? No, I'm not going to tell you. I'll tell you you're up to something. Do you know what I mean? That's how William knows that he's a person. Because he's up to something. Because he's not tall. Because he's not these West Kerry ones that are... No, no, listen, see, Protestants, before the famine, were two foot, and then after the famine, we were all nine feet ten. I'll tell you one <laughs> thing that just were before the famine. A pack of cons. There you go. Tell you one thing we weren't during the famine. Hungry. Starving. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's actually a <laughs> false statement, because as many Protestants didn't die as there was Catholics did, so we weren't hungry? So we were fine. So we're supposing, supposing, supposing two Protestants were frozen, three are defrosting. You're hurting my head. What? 
Supposing, what is this fucking riddle? I'm too hungover. <laughs> right, so suppose there's, there's two... Supposing, fro- supposing two prods are frozen. One is defrosting, how many's left? One. None. Why? Because you're only supposing. I don't know what is going on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a fucking clue what you're It's called Finian intelligence. It's, so it's, stupidity? It's, it's called diverting. Diverting them away from what you really want them to hear or say. Right. I said, oh, you do do that. So yeah. you can conf- confuse them enough that they're like, whoa, what fucking happened there? And then when the real thing happens, so in a way you think you're always up to something. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine if I was a Finian too, I'd be small no, and up. Couldn't imagine that. Could you not? Nah. I, I wouldn't imagine I'd be much. You just don't have it, I need to be one. I know, I'm too clean. No. I wash my hands and stuff too. Um, Daphne, like a Fenian wouldn't wear at you. Nah, no, no, I've never tried to stick a lips on my sister. I couldn't be a Fenian. <laughs> so I like it. I like it. We tie dye top. So I mean. Daphne wouldn't. A There's a guy who went on stage with fucking two trouser legs rolled up like you were going fishing. I'm the king. The king could do what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> I do want you to start going about calling yourself the king. The king. <laughs> The king, king like and the that. fucking gypsies. And you just do my mood about doing that, because I'm a king. Don't call yourself a king of the gypsies, because the gypsies t- will come after you. Can I tell you about the gypsies? You can tell me about the gypsies, yes. I had a first aid course to do, right? And, uh, which was dead strange, because the guy that was running the course, which I'll just go into quickly, um, I'm not mentioning his name, Paul Barry, and... Uh, <laughs> Is that not the DUP guy who was gay? That's what I thought, but I was going, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to a hotel to meet a guy called Paul Barry here to learn first aid and all this. Is, gonna, this go is, get, I'm going to get in, he's going to fucking go here and get down there and fucking sort you out with CPR, yeah. you cunty. Let me give you a mouth to mouth while your trousers off. Just let me give you a mouth to mouth. Why, why are you blowing into my willy? <laughs> no, this is how you do it. No, it's not. Yeah. Um, but Just give me CPR so and I stop went into the home. class and it was like <coughs> 30, 40 people in it and this guy's trying to be dead funny and he's like, oh no, just all thinking there's your man off Baywatch and all, obviously he wasn't at Baywatch, he was just, you know, uh, so everybody in the class and he was like, but if anybody wants to get selfies and somebody from the corner just sort of went, you really need to stop talking about shit like that because you're not a celebrity but he is and I was like, fuck, and I swear to fuck when he says, pull your mask down and pull it down, he went, oh, you're your man. <laughs> The light above my head flicked on like it wasn't working. And it was just like, bing! And everybody went, how the fuck did you do that? And I was like, that wasn't even planned. It was just like, the spotlight came on just at that stage as I pulled the mask. It was fucking dead surreal. But on the way in, why I'm mentioning gypsies, was there was a gypsy wedding in the, in the wedding. And when I arrived, there was three of them outside in their socks, fucking off, right? And they were just standing in trousers with bottles away. And your mom, I get out and your mum was like, do you want to fight? And I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, quarter to fucking nine in the fucking morning. Like, <laughs> Gypsies are trying to do fight. Do you want to fight? And I was like, no, I'm going in to do first aid. And there he was, you'll give me what? And then the other one says, he says he'll give you first aid. So then he took that as me saying, I'd knock your cunt in. Uh-huh. When I was only trying to explain properly what I was going to do. So then your mum was like, will you indeed? Is that what you fucking think like? You cunt and all. And here's me, know what to do. Fuck off. And I get inside and realise I didn't lift my bag out of the fucking car and I needed to get my bag to get my ID and to get my computer and to get everything. And I went, fuck, I have to go back out here past this cunt. And then it was just, like, all hell breaking loose. So, Quarter ended up past nine, no fucking morning. I had to go up the stairs and then, it, they were, like, when I came down the stairs, they were all over the fucking hotel. I thought there was only a couple of them there. It wasn't, like, the full... Oh, there's there. never only a couple. Jesus Christ. There's never only a couple. It was, like, they took over the fucking hotel. And it was just a fucking sea of fucking false tan, fucking boobies, fucking feet, and fucking bull cream. Oh, no, not even bald. They were all hurry bastards. Brill cream. They were all brill cream. The bellies, you want to see them? All fucking lubed up. But I went down the stairs, and I was like, I can't get my lunch in here today. These things all fucking... So I had to fucking leave there and go up the stairs. And I says, look, I can't go down there for lunch, because these can't think I want to feed them from earlier on, and I know where it's going to go. So the hotel had to get rid of them. It was fucking mad though. It there was it is, big superstar throwing out gypsies. Who's the Protestant now, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Funny, the phone. The phone, the phone, the Protestants to get rid of them. <laughs> there was a few Protestant men came from a certain area and dispersed the crowd. 
Sam Fowles from Rand's bike. Yeah, yeah, he has them. <laughs> <laughs> Just carrying fucking gypsies up their shoulders food, down food the side. Food versus gypsies. That's fucking amazing. Who's going to win so, that? Harry Hill. Did he know you? The gypsy? Who was like, do you want to fight? No, or was I, he just... Just January. He's like, oh, it's nine in the morning, need to punch a cunt. Yes, and I think I kept walking across, and when he says, do you want a thing? And I went, fuck sake, man, I'm just going to do first aid or something. The other one just heard, I'll fucking give you first aid. Yeah. And he went, he was slobbering about you, and then and they heard me. I wish I had have just said, fuck off, yeah. at the start, yeah. and walked on. Yeah. So it got to the stage where it looked like I was offering a verdict. Your ongoing rivalry with gypsies... I fucking love it. Do you think we'll get gypsies at one of our shows eventually? No. No? No. No chance. Uh, unless they're looking to fight. Yeah. Or we'll want the fucking... The I'll be behind you using the phone out like world star. Just like, I've got you, Patty, don't worry. The, the whole car mark or something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck me. You look like a bit of a gypsy. Thanks, man. Not like, not like your typical gypsy. Like, G- no, G- like an English gypsy. No, like a gypsy that you don't think is a gypsy, but then you realise it's a gypsy. Yeah. Do, do, do you get where I'm coming from? I don't from have a fucking clue what you mean. Like, there's like English gypsies now who have went a wee bit this way as Essex. Right. Where they're, do you know? You know, they're trying. They're trying to glam themselves up a wee bit. They're just, they've been in England and they're, 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 oh, they're a wee yeah. bit. They're not like your typical gypsy. Yeah. From the Shaw's Road, do you know what I mean? You look like a fool, gypsy. Thanks. <laughs> like, what, when you say fool, do you mean like a gypsy who's on the drink? Or do you mean like, you just look full gypsy? Like, you should be standing there with a big pot of tarmac and a pony. Pot of tarmac and a pony? Yeah. Is that what they do? Yeah. You use the ponies to tarmac? I assume so, I don't right, know. Okay. I know the gypsy. I've seen Piggy Blinders and that's all I know about gypsies. Right, okay. So not a lot then. Do you, you watch Piggy Blinders, don't you? Yes. Next season, that's coming out soon. I'm very excited. Your phone, Mine's on airplane mode. Oh, right. phone, Mine's is on gypsy mode. Yeah. <laughs> Else all those taxes just work. gypsies going, <laughs> do you want to fight, cunt? Do you want to fight? I'll give you fucking first aid, you bastard. It was my fault that your sister was a cunt. <laughs> uh, what else have you done? So you did blame game, it all went very good. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, that was it. Was it? Was it weird? What What's it like going out onto that studio? Is it like mad looking or is it smaller than you think it would be? Or It's not as good as you would think it is. No? Like the set. Yeah. You can tell it's made up. On TV it looks pretty good. Yeah. But it's. I, I suppose that's also the case for people that's on it because everybody's like, you could scrub up well and I'm like, yeah, they probably fucking added the bollocks out of that. Like, yeah. Filter ways. <laughs> you know, just so you yeah. don't look like you a You had to dog ears coming out, the tongue and all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Track over your shoulder while you were telling jokes. Yeah. You're really fucking getting into me this week. How's that getting in? That's what a filter is, so on Stelch. Yeah. That's not getting into you. It's just going to end. You're now. very sensitive. They are, I'm very sensitive. Today. What's the matter? I don't know. Have the gypsies got to you? Wee bit. Wee bit. Mm. The worried me the other day? That would be worrying. They, 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 they never normally worry me. Like, uh, don't get me wrong, I wasn't kicking my cacks, but yeah. in the same sense, I was like, there's going to be a fight here, and who realistically can stop this? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'd be shitting myself if a, a, a gaggle of gypsies were after me. I like. do think gypsies would be fair, though, and it would be one on one, but it's just once you beat one, then it would be an or one. It was just like an endless supply of them that day. Yeah. And I was like, but they come at you like Batman thugs, like one, one no, at no, a time. No, no, you'd fight them, you'd fight them one at a time. Yeah. Well, okay. that's fair, I mean, fair enough. They, they are fair that way, yeah. give them that. Much. I don't think the flute band would have afforded you that, if you'd have hit one of them. No, no. Uh, no. <laughs> I genuinely thought I was getting tucked away to get caught up. But it's great that in this day and age you're not. No. It was just yeah. a bit of crack. Times have changed, Patrick. Times have changed. That's what I love about our gigs, though, like even the... The mixture? <laughs> Fuck me, you had people from Bangor, you had people from Ardoin. And different age groups and all, that's... Yeah, was, uh, I've also I was also surprised how many women actually fucking like our show. I know, I know they really do. Yeah. Uh, apparently there was a fight broke out that I did. I I jam widely like I understand where Travis After? Scott's coming from because I didn't see it like towards After? the end. Towards the end. Towards the end of the show. Is that right? Did Par- it have to do with your woman? Yeah, yeah. Shouting out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nudge? Yeah. Did she say something? Yeah, I think someone told her to fuck uh, This is all I know. This is like second-hand accounts. I know someone told her to fuck up. And she's like, I'll fucking tell you who to fuck up. Love and it. apparently a fight kicked out. But like I said, you we can't see. You can see the first few rows. And then it's pretty black. So you yeah. can't really see anything. So we just heard noise. It was Did noisy. they get out? I don't, I don't know. Right. I, I think it was near enough the end. Everyone was being thrown out anyway. Anyway. Yeah, literally. 
Yes yeah. and all. Out the fuck. Literally. Literally. Out the fuck. Get off and get out the John fuck. Digweed was John Digweed was on after us. John Digweed was on big yeah. day, like. So... <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't a big deal back Listen, in the day. It's 1997, Paddy. Oh, he's a big deal. Fuck me. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll do some questions. Yes, we, we may as well off. for a wrap up. Uh, do you want to go from Facebook or Instagram? Tinder. 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 <laughs> you stay away from my Tinder. Um, let's see. John Garson, why did Grape Deck turn heel and shut the bar? Must have. <laughs> we went over that. A lot of these questions are, why was the bar closed? Right, we'll, we'll forget over about it. it. We'll find over it. Have you any advice for Mickey Bartlett and his psoriasis? He hasn't fucked up about it. <laughs> and then someone underneath that said, would you rather have gout or psoriasis? Gout. Gout, I'd rather have gout. You don't look like a fucking, like a, a snake shedding its skin. <laughs> I don't know what my advice to Mickey would be. Moisturise and eat some vegetables. I don't know what does it for psoriasis. No idea. No idea. We're not medical. Why would we give him advice? Like if Mickey, even if we did give him advice, I mean, between us, we've like got let, a lot. Let, let, let's give Mickey advice with it that he wants to hear. Mickey, the best thing for psoriasis, I would suggest, is to get absolutely shit faced most nights and uh, have four wags. And I think Mickey would be delighted. That's because I feel like Mickey's doing that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Mickey would enjoy that, but uh, you know, yeah. yeah. Um. Stephen Nolan going about the mouse in his house lying sleeping with his... Right. So Stephen Nolan must be going on about a mouse in his house or something and he's lying sleeping with his mouth open. Fuck me, I can't read Just that. Just Yeah, I can't read that. Who sent that in? Marty Leo Quirk. Fuck off, Marty. <laughs> Just fuck off. <laughs> See, I really don't know what he was saying. Just, just fuck off. Um, you and that orc fucking <laughs> cretin that didn't like it no beer at the bar and <laughs> fuck off uh, best bit of graffiti <laughs> seen in Northern Ireland and you have to have seen it not something you've seen online uh, the best one I ever seen was had to be the guy wrote boycott um, boycott us really goods us really <laughs> instead of Israel he wrote us really and it was a s s <laughs> R E A L L Y boycott us really good. <laughs> Where was that? And Andy Town. And I, like that one, if you've heard it, we'll say it again. I was going home on a Sunday morning from a fucking party and somebody had wrote boycott us really good and spelled us really. And I fucking creamed my cacks. I told the driver to turn around and the driver was like, I don't get it. And I went. Right, there's no, there's no point in me explaining this to you. And he was like, "No, seriously, I don't get what was so funny about that." And I, was like, I am a fan of any bit of graffiti calling someone a pedo. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Davy Boise pedo. Like I know it just makes me laugh. Bush Rackers. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, man. just being accused of crimes there via was, graffiti. There was, I love those. There was one I was going over the back road in the fucking Hollywood from Castle Ray. And there was one on a fucking fence that just said such and such. Somebody Todd, it was a girl called Todd. Somebody Todd is a slut. <laughs> but the way it was just, it was just like, till the point, you know. Aye. Such and such is a slut. And it, it, you read it in a way where it was like, it had to be somebody from Hollywood wrote that. Yeah, but. how angry do you need to be at a bird? Where you're like, you know, he's, he's graffiti and he's like wiping away tears. And all. He's yeah. like, fucking slut. <laughs> it, it was, he didn't even write fucking slut. He just wrote, such and such Todd is a slut. And I was just like, <laughs> yeah. And I was like, tell the point there, big lad. It, it, was, it was just, the way he done it even on the fence, like he was very careful the way he done it. <laughs> and I was like, you can tell he's a plate guy. You can tell he opens doors for women. Yeah. And this actually annoyed him. More likely he would have come back with the same colour paint as the rest of the fence was done or he would paint all the fence once he's realised he'd done something wrong there and he would go back and be like, I'm still ashamed of myself. And he would paint the fence and apologise for doing it. You know? um, uh, let's see. Justin Freeburn, and this is a good one. Do you think comedians like you and Mickey get away with saying mad shit because we say it camp? You just get away with saying mad shit for some unbeknownst. It's just expected. That you'll say something mad. Right. 
I think I get away with it because I speak comply. Right, okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're, like you got big off, like, the Salou story and the... Of the, who? Of the fag run and stuff, do you know what I mean? So, the, if, I think people expect you to be a bit darker and stuff. Right. Whereas I think I do get away with it because I'm quite comp on stage. On stage? On th- and off. <laughs> Look at the tap your word. And in the toilets. <laughs> word and tap. What's comp about? The two wee pussycats holding the motion. And it's like purple and green. <laughs> like, if, if you wore that in my day, it wouldn't even be called camp. You'd be Couldn't called gay as fuck. <laughs> so I'm leaving this time and go... Yeah, no, but back in your day, too, What the mate, fuck are you wearing? Back in your day, eye contact for more than three seconds was gay as fuck. Do you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is, where did you even get it? It's a trip dipper or trip ripper. It's like, uh, a, it's like a wee ass, uh, assity sort of shirt. Uh, you know what I mean? I like it. I know you don't. I like it. First name, Daniel. Top five loyalist power militaries. <laughs> Coming in at number five. That's exactly what I was doing. Yeah. Like, do it like top the pops. Yeah. Yeah. In at five. It's Johnny Adair with the. <laughs> I didn't go away. <laughs> number two. <sir>. The LVF. Honorable <laughs> 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 The IVF. They were brutal but short. How fucking good would it be to have, like, loyalist and Republican Trump cards? Oh, that'd be so good. We talked about that before. Oh, we? Did we? I got a shiny Johnny out there. Do you want to you swap a yeah. fucking Michael Stone eye fucking for them? Special knee breakers card? <laughs> oh, but is it a Johnny out there mill town special <laughs> or is it the fucking stuck on the revolving door? Because he was at two different times of his career and, and the points would be different. <laughs> Fuck's sake, I've got the Shukri brothers again. Do you want to <laughs> just draw a swap? <laughs> the Shukri brothers sound like a fucking real bad... Ravek from fucking Holland or something. They sound they? like they play guitar in the they, 70s. No, they don't. They sound like they're like Scooter or something. <laughs> <laughs> the Shukri Bobbers! <laughs> back in the UK! Yeah. Like 1920s gangsters? The fucking, they don't. They just, they're wankers. <laughs> they're wankers. Uh, Jason Hill's seen the hashtag bring back fingering trending on Twitter. Yeah. At what age does fingering stop? I, I'm still in... The fingering age. Are you? Fingering's still a regular thing. Done to me. If you so finger for a, a period of time longer than two minutes, does your wee hand go into spasm? <laughs> I, I tr- yes, I generally it does. So I try not to really finger. This is more of a clit hand. And that's the fingering hand. Do you know what I mean? They work together because this hand does, does crump or crumps up very easy. Uh, uh, that's just. I, I need. That's why I do yoga. I crump up during sex very easy. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah why are you laughing, you bastard? <laughs> I do. I, I'll be like, ah, like they'll be like harder, and I'm like, right, my back's fucking aching. Relax. I now. can just see you just like going. I'm very tired now. You need to go home. No, I'm like very tired. I'm, I won't like, say you need to go home. The girl will like, be like, what? And you're like, I'm just tired now. Yeah. So you can just. Leave. Well, I'm tired, you're bored. Just, <laughs> just, just leave. Yeah. My hands are this bad one. Ah. That's how it is me during time. Just like, ah. <laughs> but you have an excuse, like. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes if I'm not enjoying it, I do use that excuse. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> do you put it, do you go, oh, sorry. Well, no, because I haven't spoken like that for the past two hours that they've been with me, so I'm hardly just going to be like, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, what I'm saying, if you have to go full fucking cerebral palsy to get out of it. <laughs> Just spit on me like, I don't mean to. <laughs> what do I fully mean to? Um, <laughs> Paddy, would you fight Connor Burns? Why do we get asked this I'm all the whole, time? Like, seriously. Why do you want to see Connor Burns punched in the head? Like, uh-huh. <laughs> fucking yeah. sickos. I wouldn't fight Connor. You'd like my content. Um, <laughs> what really grinds your gears, mine's... Noisy eaters and slow walkers. Oh, fuck, I'm sorry. Um, I'm, I'm both of those that... <laughs> um, I know Noisy yours eating is... Noisy well walking. Yeah, yours is gypsies. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Gyp- gypsies and gays, that's what annoys Paddy. No. Don't think I've started on gay gypsies. No, fuck. What, what, what winds you up really gets the... I'm really bad for being in the car. Like, cunts... Mm. People driving, like, fucking... Something wrong though. <laughs> I've seen you. You fully just fucking be texting them while like not looking at the road, and you have the cheek to be like a concert Harold driver. <laughs> what song do you want on? You're doing a hundred up the motorway. <laughs> he's, he's 
think trying to reach like an apple that's rolling out in front of him? <laughs> but I won't be holding somebody back from their fucking business that they're trying. Absolutely to not. So you won't <laughs> going too slow is not something you do. Um, Scott Aloni, did those boys from our do our doing at the gig do your fucking head in more than mine? I thought they were good crack. The boys from our doing, they're, they're you know they they chirped up a good bit, but they were they were good fun for the most part. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? How do you feel about it? Yeah. Fair enough. That's <laughs> <laughs> What do you want me to say? I don't know. I enjoyed it. Do you know what I mean? I the gig. Thought, I, I thought they their contribution. Like they did, you know, they chipped up a good bit, but um, I didn't mind it. I can, you know, I thought we dealt with it well. Who the audience? Yeah. Are you all right? I don't know what else you want me to say. <laughs> but I fucking complained about drink. Not them, no. They didn't. No, but it had to be audience members. I hope it was different. It wasn't it? people that was the boys from Ardoin, the guy who we, you kept making oh, no, fun they of. Were, they were the soon. They were dead on. No, he wasn't from Ardoin. Oh, was he not? No. Oh, I don't know who they're talking about then. No. No, it was dead on. Yeah. Right. I need to go get a boost. Right. Wait. He's a way to get us. He's a way to get fingered. So I'm afraid that I'll have yes. to cut we'll short this no. week. All the best. Yes. See Thank you. Later. We'll be back next week with a regular length episode. <laughs>